YouTube, welcome back to my channel. I hope you all are doing well and I hope you are enjoying Vlogmas. If you're new to my channel, I'm putting out a video every day leading up to Christmas. So hit that subscribe button so you don't miss a video. But last year, my holiday series, I did a video specifically what my themed wrapping paper was that year. So I figured I'd do it again this year because every year I like to do something different. So let's get started. So let's start with the wrapping paper. So my thought process when I buy wrapping paper for Christmas is I usually get three rolls. I like to do everything in odds in life. So three rolls and two of them I try to do more of a solid or not so busy of a print and the one is more of a busy of a print that kind of ties in the other two. So let me show you what I mean by that. These are my two solids you could say. Uh, this one is this one is more of a green and it has just green polka dots on that if you can see that. And then this one is crepe paper with red polka dots. And then for the third one to kind of tie everything together, I have this one. Let's see if you can see it bigger. This looks like this. It says different things on it, like seasons, greetings, Noel, joy, uh, holly, jolly, Christmas. They look like little Christmas tags on them. So these are the three that I have picked for this year. So I actually picked up my wrapping paper at Hobby Lobby. Hobby Lobby is a great place to get your wrapping paper as far as deal-wise. Honestly, I don't remember how much this is, but um, it's pretty reasonable and you kind of, you get a lot of wrapping paper, especially in this big one here, and they're really sturdy wrapping paper. The only thing I don't like about Hobby Lobby is that um, it, this is more of a classic um, wrapping paper theme, which I kind of wanted for this year. Last year I did more of a like um, outdoorsy buffalo check, black, red, and like uh, this craft paper look um, but Hobby Lobby stays more in the classic so they're not really on trend with some of the theme wrapping papers a great place for that though is the container store it's pricey there has been years in the past I've gone after Christmas um, some really good deals at container store on the wrapping paper but you're also limited to what they have because they kind of sell out on things. But this is my theme for this year. I kind of like it, so let me show you all the goodies I have to go with it. My ribbon is kind of all unraveled here. It's a disaster, but I have two of them. So it's just this ribbon that looks like this. It's kind of just frayed on both ends, which is really great. I like the look of this, and the red kind of goes with all of the wrapping paper. And I, I also got this ribbon. I also like to get at least two different ribbons as well. So this one here is just more of a red ribbon with this twine um, design here at the end. For the fun part are the tags. I love me some really cute tags. And what uh, Hobby Lobby does well on is some really cute tags. So everything has fallen out of here, but the back of the box there kind of shows the design of everything that's in here, but I will highlight some of my favorite for you. There's some plain ones like this that just have sparkles on them. They're kind of boring. Some cute ones here is this little Christmas tree, and then it says the to and from on the back. This one here says Merry Christmas. This one also says Merry Christmas, but it looks like a little bit more of a wood look to it and with the two and the from on the back and has red snowflakes. This one's cute, it just says no peeking. Here's another Merry Christmas one. These two are cute, they're more of a shiny material. This is just a snowflake and a candy cane. And this one here it just has more of that craft paper look and it just says deck the halls, joy, peace, Merry Christmas, Noel, and then there's a couple other just shiny ones, little decorative ones. So let me show you a few of the presents I have wrapped so far. Okay, so this one here, I obviously used the green polka dot one with the frilly red ribbon, and then I used the Christmas tree. I did the craft paper red polka dot one here with some more of this ribbon. And then for this gift, I used the one that has the print all over with the frilly ribbon, and then I have the candy cane one. Here. When I'm giving multiple gifts to someone, I like to use the multiple papers to kind of layer the gifts together and make them all kind of cute. So both of these gifts go to one person, so I like to mix up the wrapping paper, so when I give them the gifts, they all don't just get a solid wrapping paper, they get this. So both of my kids are pretty young, so I don't really worry yet about the, like Lily tries to play with them, but as far as trying to guess their gifts or anything like that, I don't have to worry about that yet. But I do know some really cute ideas to help kind of prevent that. One, when I was growing up, my mom decided not to put our names on our gifts. She used numbers, and we didn't know what number we were until Christmas Day, and sometimes multiple numbers, and I think she had a hard time sometimes remembering whose number was who. But another really cute idea that I heard of recently was picking a wrapping paper theme for each kid. So for Lily, so say it was for Lily that year, I would do only red wrapping paper for her, and Max I would do a different color, 
but the key is the kids wouldn't know which colors theirs was until Christmas Day. I actually really like that idea and I might do that in the future when they're a little bit older and I need to disguise their gifts. So that is it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, give this video a thumbs up. If you're new again, subscribe. Stay tuned for more of Vlogmas. I have some really cool videos coming up, like a gift guide video coming up very soon with some really cool stuff in there. And some of that stuff is actually coming up also in a giveaway video. So make sure you don't miss any of our videos for Vlogmas. And that is it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I'll see you in tomorrow's video. Bye.